Right lads, this week has been a busy week for me regarding uh, locos and stuff. Um, this week I picked up a class 2T1 which is a Trix. I've always been, been after this model and I found a couple on eBay. Uh, the Trix, as you can see, is four wheel drive. Not much guts in it so I can put a, any sound decoder I want in there, any speaker. Beautiful model. Uh, metal body and all the rest of it is great but the other model which is a Roco is 8 wheel drive runs much smoother virtually no, no noise out of it at all uh, LED lighting but I'm going to see whether I can get a lock sound micro in this one with a small speaker if I can this one will be going on eBay so uh, that's what I've been doing there and I've discovered recently um, I just pulled this out of my uh, stocks in the uh, shed when I was messing around with some stuff and it's Wix bathroom sealant fixing tape I did another ad here for Wix because I've been doing lots of uh, little bits and bobs over the last couple of months involving Wix for some reason but, but you could probably get it from anywhere but it's um, it's the black fixing tape, which looks like that, and it's absolutely fantastic for fixing decoders in, into position. So it's not too tacky. It's a, it's a, you can mould it as well. It's just brilliant stuff for keeping those wires in place when you're doing a, a DCC uh, installation, and it's probably similar to the stuff you can buy on the modelers uh, electronics websites but this stuff is a fraction of the price and you get a load of it so it's just one tip um, I bought this electric class loco as well today which is a eight wheel drive just installed a lot pilot in there uh, this is a really nice smooth loco don't normally go for electric locos but this was a bargain a real good buy I got it off a chap on ebay and uh, picked it up at his house. Cracking bloke. Um, he even went up and had a look at his uh, layout in his attic while I was uh, picking the, uh, that loco up and the other Roco one I bought. So it's just uh, also today I've been at a show which has been fantastic in Manchester and I picked up these beautiful little lights that fix onto the track digital. Or analog operation. I mean, they just fix on. They're just so well made. Uh, just clip on the track. No messing around. No wires. Nothing. And I've fixed a few of them. I don't know if you can see them at the far end, but I've not installed them all yet. And they look like that. Very, very fine. I'm really impressed with these because they're only about four pound each. I can't remember what make they were, so I'm going to do another review on them at some point. So I've got them. I've got a few of them dotted around, and I've also bought a rake of the Lock Sound switch pilots. So I'm going to be electrifying a load of points soon, probably in the next week or so. But anyway, it's just a quick update of of that. This. Uh, I thought I've got to tell someone about that because it's quite, quite good. Okay, thanks for watching.